Welcome to A Little Guts, A Little Glory, the inside track to your belly and your Feldenkrais practice. In this workshop, we're going to work a little bit with using the principles of the Feldenkrais method in understanding how we can add into our practice working with the organs, the sphincters, and the whole enteric nervous system as a whole, connecting with our central nervous system. Because after all, we're all systems working together. There is no separation between the two. But we think about the nervous system, but we never really discuss the enteric nervous system. So how about today, I give just a little bit of a description of explaining how we can go through using our way of listening in our Feldenkrais practice to listen to the motility of our organs and listening to the also the functioning of our sphincters because sometimes when the sphincters as the sphincters work all together mm -hmm. sometimes it could be a coughing fit from the flu it could be a sneezing fit from allergies it can be having um, having digestive woes from having caught a stomach bug that causes the sphincters and the rhythm to go off which is no different in how we can get pain from having tripped down a step or done something in a sport so here we're going to listen actually and follow to listen to the sphincters because when the sphincters don't work properly we can end up with gastric esophageal reflux or we can end up with gas coming out the other end or other organs not being able to hold their own. So with the idea of one of the principles of movement as life, we're going to listen to the movement of the organs. You're going to learn enough anatomy that we'll be able to follow the digestive tract. As Moshe said, if you know what you're doing, you can do what you want. So following the digestive tract, we can follow it and you don't have to be in a perfect place because we as living beings are so thankful in our way of just being touched and moved and the clear intention of what the Feldenkrais practitioner is doing. So I'm listening for the digestive tract in our way of touching, which is by listening sensing and feeling. Down in the gut, all the way deep into the gut, is our vagal nerve innervation that goes from our brain down to the gut. It's the very long, winding, curving functioning that goes to all the organs, almost all of our organs of our digestive tract. And so that involved in parasympathetic Digestion is involved in parasympathetic. Look at what a difference we can do in teaching functional integration and awareness through movement lessons. So we're going to explore in this class functional integration and awareness through movement lessons, and you will be working with it with each other and in our way of listening with our touch and how can we move forward with teaching people how to improve their digestion improve their functioning of their organs so that life becomes a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. Digestion becomes a little bit easier. And not only that, but our mental clarity mm -hmm. becomes easier. Because we're talking now vagal tone. We're talking oxytocin. We're talking about neurotransmitters from the belly to the brain. So we'll talk about organs, we'll talk about sphincters, we'll talk about listening. You'll learn how to listen. And we'll take awareness through movement lessons and you will practice functional integration with each other using the, these listening skills with our organs. I welcome you that if you've not taken a class and this is a brand new idea to expand your thinking using enteric nervous system, central nervous system connection. And if you have taken the class, you can also add to it and go deeper into it and understand it even more deeply in your practice because this is a wonderful way to work with people whether a person is a high functioning person or a person has had a brain injury whether it is a child a baby or an older person we all deserve our organs to work better why because it is a richness of our nervous system and our well-being so please come to our class 
learn to sense and feel and actually do the work and practice with each other and we'll have rich discussion on how you can use this in your practice.